Santa. <gasps> Look who find her place in the office. <laughs> hey, catch. <laughs> you know what? Gabriel. People like you were born to serve people like us. Yeah. It's in your blood. Gabriel, I want you to make me coffee too. And if I like it, I will think about leaving you some tips. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> hey guys, she thinks we are crossing the border. Oh yeah, yeah you, you know how to cross the border, right? Yeah. How did you do it? Across the wall or in the truck? What are you doing? Don't you have a job to do or what? It's coffee break, boss. Jim, Gabriel, I need you in my office. <sighs> Guys, just two minutes. Listen, we have a very important project to pitch for our partners, and I need my most promising interns. I need you too to work on it. And this project has to be done by Tuesday. I think this is the best chance for you to prove that you are the best. If you succeed, I will recommend both of you for a job opening in central office. But if you fail, you may forget about any promotion in the future. But, Mr. Alder, do you want me to work with her? Don't we have some normal people around here, like someone... Jim. Yeah? I will not accept any intolerance in my office. If you have problems working with Gabby, then go ahead. You may quit right now. But if you would like to continue to work for me and for my company, then you have to respect my employees. Is that clear? Okay, I got it, Mr. Aldrin. All right. Good. Wait. Then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and make me proud of you now. I have an amazing God, idea. You scared me. I thought you could rob me. That you people do on your days off, right? Or you are you still even the fair? Didn't Mr. Aldrin tell you not to speak like do that? Do you actually believe I will embarrass myself to walk in with you? I have dignity. But they probably don't teach you this words in school. Is there a problem? Now? No, no, Jim just was telling me his idea about uh, delivery optimization. Yeah. May I have a look? Sure. What the hell are you talking about? Wow, Jim Lewis, this is, this is fantastic. I mean, I knew you were smart, but this is, this is a game changer. Did you come up with it yourself? Yeah, just uh, stay in a couple of hours, like, do some research. Guys, if you continue doing the job this way, your prospects will skyrocket. Great job, keep doing this. Okay. So what would that, why did you do it? Well, at least someone had to appreciate my work and want to know what's in there. Okay, but quickly, I don't want us to be seen together. So you're telling me that if we increase the number of supplies to 16, we can cut off the delivery expenses by four? Uh, by six, actually, because you have a mistake here. See? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Uh, so, uh, we have a, a lot of work to do. So, first of all, we need to recognize the integration process. Uh, okay, let me see. Oh, 
the caffeine level in my blood has reached its limits. Would you like another cup? No. Okay. What is it? Hey, don't look! Don't look! Okay. Don't look! Don't look! Okay. I'm almost okay. down here. Well, I'm not actually looking at the board. You know? What? You're really cute in these glasses. And a little bit crazy, but in a good way. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I think I can show you it and ta da! Gabby, uh, you're a genius, you know? <laughs> I know, I know, yes. Uh, how haven't I thought about it? I have no idea. Maybe you were too busy making fun of other people. <laughs> yeah, listen. Sorry about it. I acted stupidly the other day. So, um, uh... uh um, we yeah. are going to double the orders, yes? Yes, uh, the double the orders the at the beginning of the month. I think we should do it uh, in the middle yes, of the, the month. the average increase will come by... By 22 percent! <laughs> oh my god, yeah! We nailed it! Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, hey, we need to celebrate it. Hmm. Let's go for dinner. Is that a date? You know what? Yeah, it's a date. Come on. I know a nice place two blocks from here. <laughs> when I was a, when I was a kid, I, I was <laughs> listen. When I was a kid, I was in all kinds of like kids talent show. And please don't tell anyone. I say. What? Yeah. There is no way you can sing. I can't. No, you say no way? <clears throat> I love it when you call me senorita. Da -da 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 I love it when the true la la la. It's ooh la la la. Oh, you keep me running. Okay, I, I gotta go to the ladies' room. I'm so sorry. Okay, I will wait you. Hey, hey, buddy. Jimmy boy. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, I'm just nothing, nothing special. Like, uh -huh. I have a dinner alone. Like, I'm already leaving. Good yeah. for you. Because you know what? Yeah. For a second, I thought you were here with that dirt bag. <laughs> it oh, would God. be such oh, yeah. a shame for our community, oh, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. Imagine our Jim. Jim. With that burrito. <laughs> You know, guys, it, it will be a nightmare, you know? <laughs> My dog's smarter than she is. <laughs> you can't even imagine how many times I need to wash myself after, wor after working with her. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. You heard that? You don't belong here, you cactus. Run away! Run away, Gabby, girl! Gabby, Gabby, please wait. I will explain. It was a mistake. A mistake was me believing that you have actually changed. You are just a selfish, spoiled brat who thinks that a skin color determines a person's place in society. Gabby, I'm really sorry. I'm out of the project. The presentation is yours. Are you happy? Maybe you are right. I don't belong here. Yes, I, I don't want to be around all of you smart people. And you know what? I can't.
can even imagine how many times I will have to clean and wash myself to become clean after working with you. And that are your tips. Dear colleagues, Mr. Lewis will now present to you the project which I hear is going to change the future of our company. Mr. Lewis. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Aldrin. I'm really going to say that something that hopefully will change the future of our company. So, let's take a look. <laughs> what? This is Gabby. She's the smartest and the most amazing person I've ever met in my entire life. She's the brightest mind and she has the most beautiful smile in the whole world. But also she's the bravest human being just because every time she comes to work and faces all the stupid jokes and giggles just because she wasn't born here. She has to fight for her right to work in this company just because she looked different. Gabby, <clears throat> I want to apologize. I've hurt you and I'm terribly sorry. I was fool not to realize that all this time the only embarrassing person was me. Mr. Aldrin, I don't deserve a promotion. I didn't come up with that brilliant idea, it was Gabby, so here's the presentation. <sighs> Gabby. Oh, come on. Will you forgive me? But you have to promise that you will never ever sing again. <laughs> I, I promise. Where do you want to go today? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's him. Hey, Jimmy boy. You're such a loser. Shut up. You can forget about Saturday's basketball club. Don't worry about him. He got a new friends now. So, did you buy yourself a sombrero already? Hey, you too. You both are fired. There were too many complaints about you already. Get out of here. Get out of here now. on me. What? Scotty is not my son. I have no desire to live under one roof with a traitor and someone else's child. I did a DNA test also and Scotty is not my son. I, I think uh, there must be some mistake. We need to talk right now. <laughs> 